1930s General Electric technology, automatic acceleration. Um, this is a drum right here. And this drum is a direct linkage to the power cutter. So as you put your foot down, it will make this drum revolve. As this drum revolves, there are cams on the drum that push up and down these electrical fingers, these contacts. And when they make electrical connections in certain sequences through resistors and so on, these contactors along here will pull in and out in certain order to allow the vehicle to accelerate through a 14 point um, revolution of the drum. There's notches on this drum here and the first 10 are a series and the last four are parallel. So what you'll see here is there's a solenoid that has to uh, pull in in order to release the ratchet arrangement for the drum. The line breaker over here, the big contactor, unless that line breaker goes, you're not going to get anything. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go through the 14 points and you can just see uh, what, and hear what happens. Now the, the actual acceleration rate, this is all 600 volt DC switching. Uh, the acceleration rate would, would, would not be that fast. It's in neutral, right? That, that would be much faster than a normal acceleration rate. Average acceleration rate would be more. Yeah, you notice there's other uh, things in here that are going in and out at the same time as all this stuff over here. The uh, dynamic brakes operate on a different drum tucked in just behind here. It has six positions with fingers and cams and so on. So what I'm going to do next is operate the brake pedal and you'll be able to see uh, a large arc happen in that area over there as the brake is applied and released. Questions?